So the Acolyte, I think that we could all agree here that it is the very first Star Wars trailer that across the board has been ratioed on all forms of social media. This is exactly why Lucasfilm and the Walt Disney Company have been in hiding and have really been backing off on any form of TV spots or even putting more funds into the marketing of the Acolyte series. And that's also, by the way, exactly why they delayed the trailer almost an entire year. Mind you that this trailer existed back in like April of 2023, only of course to the attendees over at Star Wars Celebration. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, as we discussed last week, all right, there's been a lot of drama happening behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm between Leslie Headland, the showrunner of the Acolyte, Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Iger, the Disney Board of Directors, etc., etc. And after Leslie was dropped slash fired from numerous Disney related projects projects, a mixture of Star Wars shows slash films, and even Marvel projects at that. After, of course, the Acolyte backlash really grew to a new level, even higher than The Last Jedi, before this series even dropped on June 4th. So there's been a lot of things going on over at the Walt Disney Company, not just limited to Marvel Studios, but also a lot of things going on over at Lucasfilm. Let's discuss, shall we? Now, we all know that Hedlund, as far as I'm concerned, is far more extreme than Kathleen Kennedy ever was when it comes to everything related to DEI. This is exactly why Kathleen Kennedy felt that Leslie was the right hire, the right DEI hire to be placed into the Acolyte series, and well, it turned on them in the end. Now, focusing on all of this, of course, with both Marvel Studios and Lucasfilm considered the two Disney divisions that are going through massive struggles right now, one major development has to do with Star Wars director and showrunner Leslie Headland losing it with fans after she was fired slash removed from several Disney-related projects after the recent Acolyte trailer backlash. Headland delivered the following. I think the biggest problem that we have right now in this industry is how many studios seemingly are all for LGBTQ representation in both film and television, but the minute you have any level of backlash that goes on their radar, they begin to take a step back. I am beginning to witness this with our series The Acolyte right now, where yes, I was in talks with Disney for several projects that just didn't work out. They felt they just didn't need me anymore for those, coincidentally, after a loud minority of fans fans were shouting about what we were doing with the Acolyte. Look, as a grown woman and a feminist, especially one who supports other feminists in this industry, I think it's absolutely disgraceful how many studios and even so-called fans that are just posers as far as I'm concerned project this fear of women and representation in film and television. The Acolyte was my dream project, and I think myself and Kathy are going to prove everyone wrong that this series will stand right up with their Empire Strikes Back vision. Fans who didn't like The Last Jedi are probably not going to like this series because Ryan Johnson and what he did with his film was just such a damn inspiration for me to make the boldest moves in this series. A big change that we made to this series was how we decided to get so many creatives on board and even actors on set that never even saw a single Star Wars film or show before, so nearly everyone was unbiased about my direction in the story on the set. It's just something that made the production far smoother and organized. And if fans don't like that, then I don't think you are a fan of taking risks in your life. I have had many differences big time with Disney lately based on the fan response, and I really can't go much into that just yet, but I am willing to, of course, in the months to come. But you are always going to have a toxic male demographic, especially in the Star Wars community. It's just inevitable and can never be changed. You just have to learn to ignore those fans and to not lose sleep over it all. These are the same fans I feel that are too connected to George Lucas and how they view him as the key to making Star Wars the correct way 
which right there is a problem that I think we needed to correct. This series is about subverting expectations and, and shifting away from George Lucas's vision and many twists and turns that will outperform any Star Wars film. I see so much criticism about Kathleen Kennedy and her aim for Star Wars, and to that I say those fans really have the wrong idea about Kathleen. She has done nothing but great respect to the Star Wars brand the past, gosh, nearly 10 years now. Now, guys, let me just pause here about what Leslie is spewing about the Acolyte series. So, number one, the fact that she is admitting that she hired so many individuals, whether it's the creative end of things or when it comes to the performance spectrum, such as the actors and the actresses involved, stuff like that, the puppeteers, you name it. The fact that they were actually hired because they didn't know anything about Star Wars and have never seen a Star Wars film is extremely alarming because she's using that to have a set full of unbiased people that know nothing about this franchise and that are not even going to question Leslie Hedlund about what she's doing. That's basically what she's admitting here and that really is, in my opinion, worse than Ryan Johnson on the set of The Last Jedi, where at least he had Mark Hamill, you know, really questioning about his role as Luke Skywalker, calling out Ryan Johnson's actions at the time of what he was doing with Luke Skywalker, right? So, when you look at Leslie Headland, this is someone that is not really embraced with the brand of Star Wars. She's really just all for using the Star Wars title to push her overall agenda, to push her overall view of what Star Wars should be. And she has said this before in a podcast that if you view George Lucas as the key to Star Wars, then that's the misogyny. That's the problem. She has said that word by word, and she's kind of saying it again here. Now look, we know that Leslie Hedlund is one that is going to take criticism pretty much in a locker. She's just going to shove it out, not take it seriously. She's going to just, you know, pretty much move on and just focus on her agenda because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Moving on, she goes on to conclude, and she only allowed things to go to the next level with the Acolyte. She's talking about Kathleen Kennedy. This will be the biggest project on our hands, Leslie says, that takes representation and inclusion to a higher standard for our production and how we focused on that as our priority. It just had to happen so that we could really relate to all people around the world, and it works out for us too, since it will appeal to a wider audience. Fans that are opposed to that are the problem at hand. Now again, the fact that they are using representation and inclusion to appeal to a wider audience is a very cheap move as far as I'm concerned. And it's not going to work because those groups, those people aren't really invested in Star Wars. I know a lot of people that have commented on here that are a part of the LGBTQ community that are still actually against Leslie Hedlund and are still against Disney's agenda and that's very revealing. That's very much a telltale that they are reaching toward the wrong crowd. What they should be reaching toward are individuals that are fans, that are loyals to a brand like Star Wars, to people that grew up with this brand for the past 40 plus years. So overall guys, you know, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this ongoing scenario related to Leslie Headland, the damage control that's going on right now. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.